In this video, I'll be showing you how to block any website on your phone. I made a video similar to this a few years back, but some people are still having trouble with the process. So here's an update that should be simpler. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to open up your browser. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Chrome. After opening Chrome, you need to head to this website. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can just click on it and it will take you here. But make sure you watch this video first so you can understand the process before you go ahead. So after accessing this site, then you tap here. The website is going to ask you to log in, but at this point, you probably don't have an account yet. So what you need to do is tap sign up. So after getting to this page, the sign up page, enter an email and create a new password for the website. So tap here to enter the email and then you tap here to enter the password. Please don't use a password you have used somewhere else. Create a new password. After that, tap sign up. All right, so after signing up, what you want to do is drag this until you see deny lists. So this option up here, so you tap it. And from here, you can start entering the websites you want to block. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be blocking Reddit as well as Twitter or x.com. So first start with Reddit, I'll type reddit.com. After that, I'll tap on this button down here to enter it. Now you can see Reddit is one of the websites that have been blocked. Next, I'll type x.com. Then I'll tap here. Now I have two websites that I want to block. So you can go ahead and add all the websites you wish to block. After doing that, you go back to the setup page, this one, tap it. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see this option here, DNS over TLC. So there's a code here. Your code will be different from mine. So what you need to do is to long press the code so that you can select the code and then you tap copy to copy the code. After copying the code, you want to head to your phone settings. So for me, it's going to be this icon up here. Most likely you have a search bar. So tap on the search bar and then search for DNS. So you'll see this option, private DNS. So you tap it and you'll see this option down here, private DNS. Tap it. Yours will most likely be set to off. So you want to tap here, private DNS provider host name. You select this and you get a space down here. Tap the space and long press the space. Next, you tap paste. After doing that, tap save. Next thing you want to do is to head back to your browser and this icon should turn green. All right, so it is now green. If yours is not green, what you need to do is restart your Wi-Fi or mobile data. I'm currently using my Wi-Fi network, so what I'll do is just turn it off and then turn it back on and wait for it to get connected. Okay, I think it has been connected. If you're using your mobile data, you just do the same thing. Turn it off and turn it back on. All right, so what I'm going to do now is try accessing Reddit and X. So I'll tap on this button to create a new tab. Then I'll try to access reddit.com. See, if I do that, it's going to say this site can't be reached. Next, I'm going to try it with x.com. So if I tap on this, all right, so it is saying x.com doesn't support a secure connection. No worries, if I try to continue to site, you'll see it says this site can't be reached. So those websites have now been blocked. All right, so if I head back to next DNS and then, and then scroll this way, go to deny list. Let's say I don't want to block a Reddit anymore. So I can tap on this icon. You can see it is currently blue, which means it is being blocked. If I tap on it, it's going to switch off the blocking function. Okay, I'm going to try accessing reddit.com. You'll see that it is still being blocked. Now, what I need to do to access it, I'll have to just restart my Wi-Fi network. So if you're using your mobile data network, you have to do the same thing. Just turn it off and turn it back on to reset everything. It's like the most 
common way is people fix things, just restart it. Okay, so after restarting it, then if I, if I tap reload, you'll see now that I am able to access Reddit again. But if I try to access x.com, you'll see that it is still being blocked because I have not unblocked it from here. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, if you head over to parental control, you'll see two options. You can block apps and you can block categories of websites. So this can be useful if let's say you want to avoid all sorts of dating websites and maybe you accidentally tap a link that led to a dating website and you found yourself scrolling again. So with these options, you can block different categories of websites. So I'll start with this one. If I tap add a category, you can see all the different types of websites that can be blocked. So if you want to block adult content, you can block that. So that even when you're not sure of a link and you tap on it and it turns out to be an adult content website, well, next DNS is going to make sure that the website is being blocked. So if you want that, you can tap add. If you want to block gambling websites, you tap add. And so on. If you want to block dating websites, you just add them. If you want to block piracy websites and so on, just keep tapping add. And after you're done, you tap on this to close. Next, we check out this section that deals with apps. So if you wish to block TikTok, you can add TikTok to the list. If you wish to block Tinder, Instagram, there are so many apps over here that you can block. And after you block them, you'll no longer be able to access them. So let's say you wanted to block TikTok, I'll tap add and maybe let's say chat GPT. So I have blocked both TikTok and chat GPT. And I can see that from here. So if I try to access these websites or these apps, I'll not be able to. Now at some point you may say, okay, you no longer want to block these websites anymore. So how do you unblock them? So the quickest way to unblock them is just by tapping on these blue icons here so that um, if you want to block them again later, you'll still be able to do that. And uh, yeah, you can unblock all of them by just tapping here. And that's it. But if you are sure you no longer want to block them again, then you can just tap on the X buttons and they'll be deleted from the list. Same with the websites that you put in the deny list. If you are sure you no longer want to block them, you can just click on the X button and they will be deleted. And from here on, they will no longer be blocked. Now, something you need to know is that NextDNS can sometimes have errors as well. So some websites that may not be, let's say you decide to block gambling websites. Maybe a website is not a gambling website, but because NextDNS has a lot of websites to, to deal with, then the website you are trying to access may be accidentally blocked. So what you need to do, instead of unblocking the whole gambling website, you can come here to this option that says allow list. Then you enter the website here. Let's say it's x.com. This is just an example. I know x.com is not a gambling website. Or, oh, I want to believe it's not built for that. Anyways, so you can tap on this and it will be added to the allow list and anytime you access this website it is not going to be blocked so you can add as many websites as you want by just tapping here add a domain enter the website and then you tap this just like we did with the deny list all right so finally if you are sure you no longer want to use next dns again you can head over to your phone settings and then you search for dns private DNS should show up, you tap on it and you tap on this option down here, private DNS and then just select off and tap save and your phone will no longer be connected to next DNS and you will know that because if you head to the setup page you'll see that this icon is going to turn red so red means that your phone is no longer connected to next DNS all right, so that's how you do it. Hopefully this was clear enough, but if you guys still have questions, please let me know in the comments. I know this tutorial is basically for Android devices, but you can use NextDNS on iPhones and on your PC. I don't own an iPhone yet, so when I do, maybe I'll make a video about that. And if you need more help, then you can reach out to me via email to maybe open a ticket or book a one-on-one. -on -one. 
and I'll walk you through how to do it on your device. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Subscribe, take care and bye-bye.